Howdy y'all and welcome back in to Craft on Tap Show. I'm your host, Nick A. Myers. Nah, it's not working, is it? Anyway, welcome back to Craft on Tap. We have another beer peer review for you here at our YouTube channel at Craft on Tap Show. Do you know you can find us on the web at www.craftontapshow.com? Question mark. Do you know that you can find us on Instagram at Craft on Tap Show? Well, now you do. So there's no excuses to not go everywhere we are and just like, subscribe, like, subscribe, brag, brag. Do it. We need your help. Please. We are from New Mexico, if you didn't know that, and we're going to review a, a great brewery here in Albuquerque called Red Door Brewing. Uh, Red Door Brewing is going to be on the web at www.reddoorbrewing.com. They have a couple of locations in Albuquerque, but they have some packaged liquors here. So we want to start today for our beer peer review and talk about them. Before we do, remember, please drink responsibly. It's important. Now more than ever, we have to take care of ourselves. Okay? That being said, thanks again for tuning in. Let's talk about Red Door. So Red Door Brewing Company is a brewing company that started around 2014 in the Albuquerque area, started by five guys. And no, not the same five guys from five guys. Apparently it's like a separate, so it's like 10 guys, two different five guys conversations. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so five guys has, uh, started this in 2014. It's their passion, brewing and uh, craft beer. So we appreciate what they're up to and hopefully we can connect with them in the future. As far as today, we've got starting off with a beautiful vanilla cream ale. It's going to be on the lighter side. And we thought we would sort of pair that with another ale. And we have the Irish Red Ale, which I've had before from Red Door. And I can say it's good, but we're going to say I'd never. Let's, can we, let's go back. Let's erase that. So I've never had this before. It's totally the first time I've had it. All right, folks. Starting off with this vanilla cream ale. Love these beautiful, like this white packaging here. It's very stark. It's very beautiful. It's so, so amazing. Look at that head on that. Oh yeah. So we're going to give this one a pour. This is again, if we got a beautiful, a beautiful beer right here. Look at the head on that. This vanilla cream ale has a lot more head even in there than I'm seeing beer. A lot of effervescence. It's almost champagne colored. It's just the slightest off white, yellow, and a lot of uh, cloudiness going on in there. Right off the bat, I'm catching vanilla notes. Very simple, not a lot to the, to the smell bouquet, but let's give it a taste and see what we got there, shall we? Come on! Oh, very mm, smooth, crispy, super like light vanilla, I love it to death. Uh, I would say that this is a great beer for right now that we're in the middle of summer, more or less, and I would say this is the perfect one to just sit outside on your back, back porch, hang out, check out the grasshoppers, hang out with the gnats, the flies, the spiders, and give the ants little bump pop, pop. what up ants yeah I like this one real crispy a lot of effervescence it's almost again it's almost sort of champagne -y to me but you know I'm weird so um, as always when I drink more than one beer I try to cleanse the palate in between while I'm doing this you can press a little thumbs up on the left bottom left you know where it is right over here, like right over here. <sighs> cafe so last on the docket Irish red Personally, love reds, Irish reds, great also. Um, this one's gonna have a little bit more ABV than the last one. This one's around 4.2. This one we're about to try now is uh, closer to six. So, you know, I'm excited to get a little more of a buzz going as well. I mean, responsible buzz. All right, so let's pour this one and let's see what we got on that. Oh, that is beautiful. Right off the bat, it starts off brown and then I'm catching more of a dark red hue to it. Um, Excuse me, I got a little bit of effervescence on the side. Again, nice head retention, a lot of bubbles up front. I like that when I see a beer like that, I'm usually satisfied by what I uh, smell and taste. Um, I'm getting some caramel on there. Little hint of malt, not a lot. Um, and just like the slightest hint of some pine or some probably hops of some sort or another. So why don't we give this a swig, shall we? Oh man, that is... Ooh, fantastic. Starts out pretty crisp, kind of builds in body as it sits and kind of goes down your throat. Just enough carbonation in there that it's not at all flat, but it's not at all overwhelming with the effervescent qualities. Head retention, still hanging out, folks. And if I'm not Nick A. My, wait, I would, wait. If I, you know what I mean. I'm trying to say that it's, I would stand by this head right here. I would stand by the head. My head and this head are like head and head, neck and neck, shoulder and shoulder, Nick and neck. But in sincerity, um, as far as uh, Irish Reds go, I love it. It's got a, just a subtle caramel flavor going on there. 
I'm getting a lot of the, of the malts, some of the sweetness from the malts, but this really isn't that sweet at all. It just has a very quick sweetness on the front of the tongue. And again, it builds in body as it goes down. And in the end, I'm getting just a slight hint of some definite hops in there for, for a little bit of that bitterness and extra sort of flavor quality. I'm impressed. Red Door, you're the best. I swear to God, you're the best in the Southwest and there's no less. And I mean, anyway, folks, can you come join us again the next time we do this? We do it every Tuesday, Friday. We put up new content. Go to our YouTube, tell, tell a friend, tell someone. Uh, and you know what? Stay crafty, mother brothers.